Okay, am I, guys, am I going crazy or is, do you guys see that as well? What is that? What is that? I mean, there's only like one, one way to find out, right? What is, Hello? Is there anyone... Anyone here? Is this? Where? Where am I? Whoa, what the... Wait, what is that? Dinosaur? I mean... I like the sound of that, so I guess I'll take it. Nonetheless, I've got a dinosaur from Ringside Collectibles. Whew, okay, well, I, I didn't know going through a portal that takes you back to the dinosaur age took so much out of you, but damn. Um. G'day, ladies and gents, it is I, Nick Storm, the astray. <laughs> Lee and Icon, I, I think I just think I just encapsulated uh, Michael Jackson into my performance just then. So, guys, we have a package from Ringside today. This took a whole ass month to get here. No cap. No cap. That's cap. That's that, that means lie. Cap. That's, paper that's cap. Totally cap. That means lie. None of that. No AJ capping over here. This took a whole month to get here. And I'm so happy that it's finally here. Oh my god. Now, if you can see on the package, it actually... It actually came like this. I didn't, I did not write that on it at all. Don't, uh, yeah, I, I didn't, guys, I swear. But who knows what this could be, you know? It could be a dinosaur for all we know. <laughs> it's not really a funny joke. It says it right there in the box. Anyway, let's get this bad boy open. No more chit chatter. I just went through like a three dimensions at once, okay? So no more chit chatter. And here's the big reveal. Dude, there's a dinosaur in here, man. What the flip? Who who brought the dinosaur along? Hey, what the hell? Who brought the dinosaur, huh? Wow, so here we go. Finally have this in my possession, and oh my god. No! What is that? He's got some green splooge there. Finally have this in my possession. Wow, it looks actually really good in person. I'm sure all the figures look really good in person once you have them in hand, but I have to say that every time because these figures blow me away. God damn, that's freaking, that's smexy, I tell you that much. This is the back of the box, obviously from Double or Nothing 2019, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the rest of the wave in the set. Now you're probably thinking, hey, why aren't you reviewing Jungle Boy and doing a two-figure review? Well, I uh, actually didn't end up getting the Jungle Boy. I know, guys, please, guys, hear me out, please, please. I didn't actually end up getting the Jungle Boy. Um, I don't know why, but <laughs> I think... By the time I went to go grab him on ringside or something like that, uh, he was gone. And I'm getting the Jurassic Express 2-pack anyway, so uh, maybe I'll still get the Jungle Boy later down the line when it's a, a little bit a little bit less pricey, because right now they go for, for a pretty penny, so. All right, enough talking. Let's get this dinosaur out of here, man. He's probably been in here for like, this dinosaur's been in here for millions of years, so let's not wait, make him wait a million more, All right? I have died every day waiting for you. Yeah, let's get him. Yeah, it was a box on for me. Yeah. Boom, bay bay, Adam Cole. Wow, this box looks awesome like that. Just freaking kidding. It's out of here. Now, folks, you're probably thinking, what is this? What is this really cool case defender it comes in? Well, you'd be wrong entirely because it's not a case defender and you have zero brain cells. So let's, uh, let's get him out of here. Oh man, this figure is girthy. This figure is, oh my God. Wait, what the hell? Why does that happen? What the? My arms just go out like, like crazy, like nobody's business. Like it ain't nobody's business. Right, so this is what we call a Luchasaurus, aka translates into Fight Dinosaur, I'm pretty sure. F or Fight Saurus. So here we have Fight Saurus. And let's get Fight Saurus's hands out of here. Now I know I'm really late to this uh, Fight Dino party. I'm really late to the Fight Dino party, right, guys? I've seen all the reviews, I've seen all the gripes. 
and I've seen all the nitpicks people make of this figure and I probably won't point out as much but still I I like this figure a lot a lot of people uh, uh, that was a little bit uh, mid-sentence burp I like to call that a lot of people were talking about how uh, another mid-sentence burp oh my god two for two no but a lot of people were talking about how this figure is really hard to stand up on its own and you know you, you wouldn't be wrong but like once you get it you get it and it's it's pretty easy honestly you just have to know what you're doing you just have to know what you're doing who you are but uh yeah i'm one thing I'm, i am gonna point out is why this arm goes out like this i uh, yeah i'm not too sure on that one maybe i can like heat it up some plastic or i can just bend it in place like that hopefully not snap it man that'd be really funny if i just broke a figure that'd be hilarious and of course fight dino comes with these two interchangeable hands looks like he just uh uh, I don't know, he's placed his fingers into a vat of slime and was like, yep, that looks good. Ugh, let's let's <laughs> decapitate his uh, hands and place these ones in. A lot of people are saying that the, the, the hands that don't come on the figure in the package, like the interchangeable ones, these ones that I'm interchanging right now, uh, are very small. And let me, let me see. They are pretty tiny, honestly. They look like got little baby hands. Oh, Google Gaga. Oh, let's get a closer look. God damn it, now I got that freaking song. I have died every day. I got that song just stuck in my head now. Great. Thanks, Nick Storm, for nothing. But here is a closer look. Oh, a thing I haven't done yet. He's got a little bit of a plastic under his waist strap. Also, a thing about waist straps, I swear, whenever I watch a review on this or like a Pentagon, they never say waist strap, which is what it is. They always say, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Or something like that. He does come with a non-removable belt. Now the sash as well. Now looking at the belt. And this belt piece is removable. Uh, the sash. Kind of his loincloth, I guess we'd call it. Oh, actually, one thing I'm going to point out before I put... Before I reassemble the man is the waist strap. You know, like, just like how Penta has a waist strap. It's very... I, I feel like this waist strap's very, uh... A lot more like bendable, which is really nice, a lot more flexible. This is a really hard plastic, I feel like. And this one just like, I don't know, it's kind of easier just for movement and it doesn't hinder up much articulation. Hopefully the newer Penta is like that. Stay tuned for that one, by the way. I can't wait to review that. That's going to be a freaking Smexy figure. I like using the word Smexy because it, that the word Smexy is Smexy in itself, okay? But yeah, I, I cannot wait to review that figure. But let's not talk about that figure. We're talking about this guy with the with no waist or anything. There we go. Speaking of waist, oh, boom, Bob's your uncle, Zooey Mama. And my God, fellas and gentle ladies, it is cold as hell right now. I tell you that much. I didn't know Australia could get so cold because, again, you know, we are a, a country that's fueled on volcanoes, as everyone knows. That's just a known fact. So, yeah, it's freaking cold. And uh, Nick Storm, your boy's not used to it because he's all used to that, that summer air because he is an icon. And icons live it up in the summer air all the time. All the time. And boom, let's just, for the meantime, we'll stop the arms back out. Uh, me likey that a lot. Now guys, let's take a close look at the pantalones. Is that a, is that French? Yeah, let's go with that. It's French. It's a, like a nice kind of blue kind of cheetah print, which I think it looks actually really cool. I'm a big fan of that. And a lot of people are, I knew, I'm eating my cough drop right now. I saw a bunch of people point out that this, this little, this little tassel here on the knee pad actually hinders some articulation, but I don't know when uh, Luchasaurus ever bends his knees, you know what I mean? I don't feel like that's a gripe that's too necessary, unless you're doing like pig feds or something and you need him to pose like that. I guess that could be really annoying as well. Even the standing thing alone could be really annoying. Man, this figure is just the worst for pig feds, maybe. <laughs> oh my god. Nick Storm forgot to put on his second lighting. Oh my god, it's like 20 minutes into this video. It's like 50 minutes into this video and I forgot to do that. Oh my god. Make sure to drop a like if you like me not turning on the lighting halfway through the video. Woo! 
But yeah, he has really, really sick tats, bro. Uh, the details look really good on here. Shout out to everyone who like, you know, did the paint apps or, you know, designed the, the tattoos and whatnot. Because they came out actually really good. And, he, and he's very stiff, you know. He's very... Oh, I broke him. He's very stiff, you know. He won't come on loosey-goosey like uh, your Wave 1 Kennys or anything like that. Which is really, really beautiful and nice and lovely. Got the green braid in the hair. The mask sculpt is really beautiful too. Oh my goodness, that's really good. The mask looks really perfect in person as well. Everything about this figure is... Look, look. I'm, I'm going to just say it right here. I could be like just so happy that this is in my collection, but... This figure is literally breathtaking. Like, it, it, it's awesome, man. And to have, like, someone like Luchasaurus who is super toyetic already in his own right, uh, you have to you have to make someone toyetic and, like, live up to it. You know what I mean? So, Luchasaurus is already toyetic. And to make an actual action figure out of it, you have to live up to the toyetic kind of side of it. And I think Jazzwares have done a beautiful job with this one, for sure. Hit it out of the park as well. I don't think I might prefer this attire over the Jurassic Express 2-pack attire, but hey, I don't even have it in person yet, so I can't really be a judge of that. But like, what the crap is going on here? No swearing! Okay, I'm sorry, Danhausen Custom, that's not yet finished. I'm sorry, I won't swear again. I only said crap as well. I only said crap, that's not even a so- HEY! No Okay, now I'm scared for my life. How does he just come out of nowhere like that? I I have I think I might have to get a restraining order, guys. Alright, let's do some figure, figure comparisons. comparisons. Now these are just a couple I grabbed out of nowhere. Let's take it back. Take it back now, y'all! And you can see the height comparison, you know. I think, yeah, Luchasaurus is like 6'4 or something like that. And uh, Cody Rhodes is like 6'1 or something like that. Penta's like uh, 5 foot flat, as you can see, because he's so short. But I think the scale actually, like, it, it's actually good. Like, I think it, it lines up and everything. It actually makes sense with the figures. It's not like some uh, Moxley or some Dustin type beat, you know what I mean? Alright, let's get Penta out of here, because he's blocking my at. And that's my at. That's my publicity. My publicity? Yeah, awesome. Let's see what Mama Storm thinks about this. Mox, can you like keep you nice and warm, buddy? What do you think of this? Oh, are you f***ing kidding me? Get it away from me. What do you think of it? I don't, no, I don't cook anything. You like it? He's a dinosaur. No, no, He's Go a away. dinosaur. Go away. He's toys. Nicholas, of course, he's a grown-ass, nearly 20-year-old playing with toys. <laughs> f*** off. <laughs> Get away! Such a weird. Huh? Such a weird. It smells nice in here, it's like bubblegum. Luchasaurus' is favourite. What is it? Luchasaurus. 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 So he's Italian, is he? He's Italian? Lucha, like luchador. Lu what's, the, what's a luchador? Luchador is like a, you know, like a no. Mexican wrestler, with a masked wrestler, like Rey Mysterio oh. or Sin Cara or something like that, you know? Okay. Everybody's L Luchasaurus. Or Lacho, uh, Nacho Libre. Nacho Libre? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> if, you want, if you're comparing Luchasaurus to Nacho Libre, okay, we, can, go. we can go there. Okay, okay. Chips. Oh, what should I get? What should I have for dinner? Guys, let mum know in the comments what she should have for dinner. And down in the comments, <laughs> make sure you comment down the link in the description what comment you want to see mum eat and for dinner. <laughs> An idiot. So, Mum, people have been asking, where's Mama Storm been? Uh, what do you have to say to all your fans out there? Mama Storm's been busy. Mama Storm's been busy? Mm hmm So, are you excited to be back in Nick Storm videos? Not really. Not really. Hey! Hey! Oh, yeah, let's take, take two, take two. So, Mum, what do you have to say to all the Stormies, all the Storm Minions, who need Mama Storm back, who needs their Mama Storm content? What do you have to say to your fans? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll just cut it there. Yeah, just cut it. What are you trying to say, Mum? Okay. That's an right. art have a look, it's an artichoke. Mum, that's a car! That's an artichoke. Mum, that's a car! It's You've a lost it! Have a look. <laughs> you might no. change your answer. No. So Mum thinks Luchasaurus no. is hot unmasked. Yeah, he's alright. What do you want? I'm gonna suck his dick. No, I don't. Shut up, dickhead. Mum wants to suck his <laughs> dick. <laughs> You're an idiot! You're a dickhead. Um, hi, can I please get a... Ask them if they have dino nuggies. A large... A large superstar meal, sorry. But yeah, guys, I think that might do it for my review. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to the end. 
And uh, if you made it to the end and you're not subscribed or liked the video, what the <laughs> heck are you doing, man? Make sure you hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if you didn't enjoy this video, make sure to also hit a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have this figure, what you like about this figure, what you hate about this figure. If you don't even have this figure, comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you click up in the right hand corner right now to check out my talk that I did with Gregory Mitchell from Jazzwares. We talked all about the AW Jazzwares figures, the future of those figures, what's gonna be happening in the next couple years. Talked all about the reveals from FanFest and everything like that, and all that good fun stuff, yes! I think it's a really good video, I love how it turned out. I really wanna do more interview-based videos, so make sure you put down in the comments who you wanna see me interview next, because yeah, I, I love doing the series, and I think you guys like it, like the series as well, so. I really want to do more of that. But yeah, if you like this video, yeah, yeah, I already said all that. Oh my god, Nick Storm, what do you have? Memory loss, dude? I mean, prob I wouldn't be surprised after going through those two portals, if I'm being honest. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And subscribe to the Australian icon if you haven't already, or Luchasaurus will come and make a dinosaur. He will just make a dinosaur. That doesn't make, that doesn't make much sense. Honestly, he will make you into a dinosaur if you don't subscribe or if you like dinosaurs He'll make you into one, but if you don't subscribe, he'll make you into a bad dinosaur like a uh, uh, Pterodactyl or something. I don't know. What, what's a bad dinosaur? I don't know my dinosaur facts. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one Bye 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 <laughs>